Hey guys, it's Jeff, and if you're anything like this house, we're always struggling to find interesting things to put in the kids' lunch boxes or um, to give them as a, a bit of a snack that's not too bad, that we made from home, that's not got uh, additives in it and blah, 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 blah. So today, uh, I've made some pizza out on the Kamado Joe, but while it's cooling down, uh, which takes ages if you're a, a Kamado Joe user, you would understand, um, we're gonna make some pizza scrolls, which is an awesome additive to kids' school lunch boxes and something you can keep around the house for a bit of a snack. You can freeze them. Uh, pull them out of the fridge, chuck them in the microwave for a second, they're epic. So today I'm going to show you how we, we get that done um, and while uh, utilising the Kamado Joe's heat while it cools down, which is uh, an added bonus. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start off with, we've got uh, one cup of lukewarm milk that we're gonna add to our bowl. And I stress lukewarm, we don't wanna kill the yeast here. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon or a tablespoon of sugar. So a bit more than a teaspoon, that's close enough. About a tablespoon of sugar. And two teaspoons of dry active yeast. And we're just going to give that a stir around in the bowl, uh, just until that dissolves. Okay, uh, to that, I've got three cups of flour here, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar. and about uh, one teaspoon of salt, which I can't be bothered getting a teaspoon to measure, so we'll just approximate it. Yeah, about that. That's close enough. And just um, incorporate that uh, into the flour before we add it to the rest of the mixture. Close enough. And then this into our milky, yeasty mixture. Okay, uh, to that mix we want to add uh, one large egg or two small ones. I've got um, just small ones here, so I'm going to add two. And 75 grams of melted butter. And we want to add our bowl into the stand mixer. Um, if you don't have a stand mixer, um, like this one, obviously you can just mix by hand. It's a bit more effort, but can certainly be done. And we want to start that off on a low speed. Um, just give the sides a bit of a scrape down, give it a bit of a helping hand. Once it starts to come together, you can speed that up. And what we want to do at this point is mix for around about eight minutes or until the dough becomes really nice and smooth. Until you have a dough that looks, you know, pretty much like that. It's nice, it's smooth. If you find that the dough is a little bit sticky as you're going uh, along mixing it, just add a touch more flour, which does happen from time to time, depending upon the size of your eggs and the type of flour that you use, etc. Uh, so what we want to do now is just cover this bowl uh, with some plastic wrap and let it rest for about half an hour. All right, so we've been about uh, actually nearly uh, 
40 minutes or so um, resting this. So we've got our um, dough onto a, uh, a floured work surface. And what we want to do is just roll this guy, roll this guy out so we can start scrolling it up. And I guess we want to roll it until it's um, at around three millimeters thick or something like that, I guess. I don't know, you know me, I never measure this stuff. And it's important to have rested it um, because this will be very, very difficult to roll out if you haven't, because the gluten gets all tight and weird and doesn't want to roll out on you. So I reckon that's about it. So what's that about, I don't know, 50 centimeters by 30 maybe, something like that, 50 by 40. Uh, so from here, the world's your oyster, right? I mean, um, I'm using what I've got in the fridge. I've got some pepperoni, I've got some ham, I've got some cheese, um, tomato sauce. But you could put, you know, pineapple. I know that's a bit controversial on pizza for some people. Um, peppers, mushrooms, it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever you want, I'll go with what I've got in the refrigerator. So let's go digging and we'll see what we've got. All right. So first let's start with some sauce. You can use whatever sauce you want. I'm being lazy and using one that I got out of a jar. If you want to make your own, be my guest. Um, for me, this is more like a, um, you know, kind of uh, an easy thing rather than being a laborious thing. So uh, I think sometimes it's okay to use stuff out of a jar. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad, I'm glad we agreed on that. Okay. Um, leave a strip here at the end to, um, to uh, what am I trying to say? To help us stick it together so that it doesn't all come apart. And make sure you go all the way to the edges. We will trim the edges when we're done, but make sure you go all the way to the edge. And then I found this, uh, some of this shredded shredded ham try to go all the way to the left edge and the right edge otherwise otherwise what you trim up what you um when you trim the edges you're gonna have to go a lot further in before you get actually any uh any filling i've got a bit of uh pepperoni let's scatter around I've got some of this lovely Italian herb mix, Italian seasoning. It's very pizza-ish, it's got all the usual stuff. Rosemary, thyme, garlic, uh, etc. Bit of that on there. We could, I've got a little bit of um, crumbled feta here. I'm just gonna use that sparingly. Cat's going mental in the background for no reason at all. And then uh, shredded cheese. So this is a blend of uh, mozz, uh, parmesan and cheddar. Again, I'm being lazy and taking it out of the packet. If you wanna uh, shred it up yourself, be my guest. And we want to just brush the edge here where it's where we're going to seal it up. All right, and then what we want to do is just simply roll this up. So just starting from the end. Once you get started, it's a little bit easier. Up. 
see you at the end. So what we want to do here is just trim the very ends off where there is no filling. Alright, and then we just cut through. stress too much just pop them back together all right I just like to give these just a little press down Too much. I have a little bit of greased cling film here that we're just going to cover these up with and we're going to let these sit and prove uh, for around about another hour. Beautiful. All right so these guys have been reproving for about an hour and a half now, I kind of got distracted with other stuff. <laughs> so they've been sitting here for a bit. So we just want to brush these with a little bit of uh, egg wash. And I've saved that egg wash from uh, the egg wash that we used to uh, stick the dough down with. So just brush it on here. You don't have to be too careful with it, but this just gives it a nice, um, a nice kind of uh, glossy inviting finish when it's all done. So just brush these on here. We're going into the Kamado Joe at around 200 to 220 degrees Celsius for about somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, you could also obviously use your oven um, as well if you choose to, which is just as wonderful. Let's go. Lost a bit of light out here. Brilliant. See you in 15. Yeah, baby. Let's get these guys off. These have turned out great. Um, I'm 100% gonna burn myself here, but uh, I'm gonna try them. I've let them rest for about 10 minutes and I know they're still piping hot, but you know, these are the things we do for YouTube, right? So let's get into it. All right, so we'll just pull this guy apart. I mean, <laughs> does it get any better than that, people? That's mad. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so hot. Mm. Have I got cheese on the side of my face? Sorry, if I have, bad luck. Mm. Magnificent. Mm. Let's go back this way. Um, definitely give these a try, guys. Um, I see a lot of posts uh, on Facebook, how well, how can I use the heat in my Kamado Joe when it's cooling down from pizza and, and, and so on. Uh, that's 
one way. And not only that, uh, as I said off the top, it fills the kids' lunch boxes. At, no, lunch boxes. It's great for snacks. It's just uh, a, a lot of fun. You can put whatever you want in them, and uh, it's always a great snack to uh, to hang around. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Please like, subscribe, comment, give us some filling ideas for um, for other people. Um, I love uh, answering the comments, so jump on and have a crack, um, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.